but you don't see this kind of village anywhere. Uh, going back in time, you know, 50 to 100 years. Uh, pretty special here. Of course, you have the whole presidential panorama in front of you. I don't even know how you can describe it. It's beautiful. Jackson is a uh, spot of gold in the White Mountains. Well, I think the first thing you're going to see is coming through the covered bridge. It just, uh, even that, I see people coming through there and they all slow down. Uh, they all look up at the timbers and so forth as they come through the bridge and uh, it just sort of sets something apart from the rest of the world. You're in a, you're in a different world now and uh, now you're in this uh, small New England town uh, with the church downtown. Still the old architecture in a lot of the buildings downtown. You know, all of the uh, lodging properties here in Jackson are all unique. There's not one, uh, there's no cookie cutter uh, lodging property. When I came up Carter Notch Road and just passed the Wentworth and the Eagle Mountain House, that stuck in my mind so much that this is where I came, Jackson is where I came back. This is where I've landed. But I've come to an appreciation being involved with so many things in Jackson um, to love the village itself and, and have an appreciation for the views and, and the change of seasons and the activities that, that you can do are boundless. There's always something to do outside. There's fishing, there's hiking, there's canoeing, there's lakes, there's ponds. I mean, there's anybody who says there's nothing to do is chooses to do nothing. Just to go out on a trail for an hour or two. You don't have to go any place, just go up the trail and enjoy the scenery, enjoy the woods. Uh, uh, I love to walk on a trail that runs down beside a brook or something like that. I just love that uh, sound of the brook. It's like 30,000 miles of walking trails or hiking trails in Bike Mountain National Forest. Just minutes north from Jackson, you can experience a lot here at Great Glen. In the summertime, we offer family biking on our private trails with rentals available daily and guided kayak and canoe tours. The Mount Washington Auto Road started as a carriage road, horse-drawn carriages to the top of Mount Washington. The Auto Road itself changes with the weather. It could be day to day, hour to hour, a different experience every time you drive up the mountain. Jackson is a very special spot for weddings because it's a quaint small village, because um, there are places that the, all guests can stay that is truly historic and a home away from home. We get couples coming back to Jackson for their anniversary, they come back with their children, and that, that's what makes it special. So a lot of our couples who come to Jackson have vacationed here as they grew up, and this is where they want to start their life and start their families coming. That, that's a wonderful feeling to have. We're lucky to have uh, two golf courses here in Jackson. We've got the 18-hole golf course down at uh, the Wentworth Golf Club. It's a par 70 golf course. And then right here we have the Eagle Mountain Golf Club, and that's a nine-hole par 32 course. Our course here at the Eagle Mountain is probably more for families, kids, and beginners, uh, whereas uh, the Wentworth Golf Club is probably for more, a little more advanced player. It's amazing, people from all over the world will come to see our foliage here. It's just a, a sense of uh, bewilderment, really, of how that can happen and uh, how nature did that. It's just amazing. People from all over the world want to come to Jackson to ski the trails that surround these mountains. The 
black mountain ski area nestled in the corner of the Jackson Village, very close to the cross-country ski trails, can offer some great family skiing and riding. And if you drive just a little further north towards Great Glen Trails, you'll find Wildcat Ski Area in the National Forest, which offers incredibly challenging traditional slopes as well as some easy skiing and riding. It's the sense of a small town and, uh, and what I envision as uh, uh, what the country was like years and years ago. You know, you sort of experience that here a little bit. So it's like um, a bottle of champagne. You look at champagne for the whole Mount Washington Valley, but the bubbles and the fine part of that champagne is in Jackson. Everybody who comes here, once you discover Jackson, people always come back. 